recording. Hi. We Wel- love. Welcome back to our podcast, guy. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guy. 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 The one guy that's watching. The one guy. I had a camp counselor, and his name was Guy. I had a, He's the one that's listening right now. I had Hi, a, guy. I had a camp counselor. Her name was Peaches. Peaches, the camp counselor. It's definitely a stripper name. Definitely. Definitely. Well, this is Ashley. If you guys didn't watch the first episode, we introduced ourselves. This is Tiffany in the middle. And Yo is behind the screen, <laughs> behind the glass, yeah. controlling the cameras and the audio. And so, this is Eric. To him. Eric. Yeah. Eric Kane. I'm Eric. <laughs> I'm Eric. 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 <laughs> No, guys, welcome back to our channel, Omnia Podcast. <laughs> we are live. Yeah. Episode two. We're actually not live, but we're, we're live. not. We're hoping to be but live. But we'll get there. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Yeah, so. Big episode. Very big episode. We all we all kind of briefed, our, briefed each other before the episode. Ashley took notes. That's what the clipboard is. Um, she, like, color coordinated it, She's highlighted okay, different right colors. Right now, I don't know what that <laughs> is. So she's raising the clipboard, showing the camera. If you guys are listening to us on audio only, they have a, there's a huge section, a whole website, a whole presentation where there's a whole visual part of this. So you could check out these pretty faces, check out the guy behind the screen, yo. Yes. Um, no, you can't check him out. <laughs> well, I mean, there's, there's a big topic. Uh, we'll, we'll get to know each other a little bit more today. Ooh, big topic on the table. I mean, just get it out. Let's get it out. Let's get it out. I think we mentioned it in. <laughs> I think we mentioned the topic in episode one, Mercury retrograde. Um, a lot Ooh. of people misconstrued and say Mercury in retrograde, which is an incorrect term. But um, yeah, that's what we're going to be Wait, talking about, I thought guys. That was that's incorrect. Yeah, I think it's just Mercury retrograde. Exactly. Right? I'm one of those people that's been saying it because I believe Mercury. Uh, not Mercury. Mercury is a planet. Uh, retrograde is an adjective. Wait, Mercury. Mercury's a planet. I <laughs> was a joke. <laughs> no, no, no. I was thinking. And I mean, like, it, it's an element too, right? Yeah, I like no, the Mercury. Oh, no, no, no. All right, right, right. Back it up, back it up. Pretty it sure is. is. Before yeah. I completely. <laughs> before I com- Oh, wait. Okay, yes. You are absolutely right. Like, if right. you eat yeah, a lot like of sushi, that. you're going to have Mercury. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Correction. You're right. I'm sweating. I'm sorry. She came in with a bathrobe for <laughs> episode number two. So the level of comfortability right now is just like peaking. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is this is something a Cancerian would do. Like a Cancer, like her zodiac sign would do something like that. Like I feel like that is just like her. She's wearing a bathrobe and a, I think that's a SpongeBob shirt. Yeah, it's Sponge a jam band tied it band. under the water. Actually, one of, one of the best episodes. SpongeBob is a Cancer, so no. 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 <laughs> up because i really would have would have preferred you to ask me what that was because i would have loved to guess that because i i never would have guessed that really? even though <laughs> even though i do see similarities yeah yeah I, I i definitely can he's a sensitive little baby do you know any other cartoons birthdays no that I, I mean guess? i'm sure i could google it but we'll wait till the end to do that that's fine okay um so we had the big topic so let's get to know each other a little more let everyone tell each other Let's tell each other stories. <laughs> <laughs> Let's tell each other zodiac signs. So since you gave mine away, I'll start. I'm a cancer. Woohoo! I'm the big baby of the group. Put it right in the middle. Yeah. And and um, in the zodiac sign, there are four different elements. There's water, air, earth, and fire. So that would be... Water. A water sign. A wet, a wet. Literally. <laughs> Eric, what are you? I'm a Taurus. Um, Oof! I didn't, I didn't really know what that meant or even, you know, knew anything about this whole, I guess, community or, uh, like, way of thinking. Um, but, yeah, I'm a Taurus. Pseudoscience. And that is, do you know what sign that is? It's an earth sign. Good job. Ooh, someone did it's, their I mean, it's, homework. It's, it's just for all you Tauruses out there, it's simple, like, Horses are like a bull or a cow, and you know they walk. They walk the earth. That's a good way of looking at They're it. They're like you know, part of the earth. Stubborn. I yeah. am a Sagittarius, <laughs> which is a fire element zodiac sign, and I'm energetic. I would say stubborn, but also you really can't passionate take his about. Trait. 
different. Yeah, I thought Tauruses are stubborn. Yeah, you're I think you really... just don't hold anything back. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to shit on you guys, but you both are stubborn as fuck. <laughs> okay, so that's what I was gonna say. Like, well, why I can't feel two like, signs yes, be stubborn? But I feel like you're stubborn because like that's a whole moon sign aspect, which is like a whole another topic. Yeah, yeah. That's I feel like a number episode. one trait of yours is like definitely just like motivation outspoken <clears throat> outspoken well well i really have no filter i have a filter for here per se because i don't want to get sued or yeah, right. jail or die but <laughs> I, I, in my life i like to not be so ah but my friends my family they know me i don't give a fuck i just say whatever i feel and that's that and it's the reality of it yeah, yo i definitely um yo. Yo, what's your zodiac, yo? What's your zodiac sign? Uh, hey, what's your zodiac sign? Hey. Um, I was born a Gemini. Ooh, my daddy Gemini. The wait, weirdos. wait, wait. He so, crazy. Do you know what element that is? Uh, just like coronavirus air. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Wait, wait. Segway. Do we, we have? All four oh. elements. Oh my! Ooh. I think there's five. Ash, honestly, I think you're wrong. Right. Google it, Mama. Throw a twenty on the no, table. No, no, there's definitely there's four. four. Mm. La- like Avatar: The Last Airbender. Let me tell you something. Four. They don't want smoke. Element. See this? Uh-huh. Same shit compared to my zodiac knowledge. <laughs> Ain't ready. Yeah, she got books. Uh, oh yeah, ooh. fire, air, Tiffany's water. Tiffany's looking it up right now. And there's only four confirmed. Wow, Yay. so we really are the complete universal traits of America. Side note, I think the that's world. I think that's why we work because we have airy, we have grounded, we have. Ah, you better and then work, we bitch. Have you better work, bitch. You better work, bitch. Um, when okay. I walk in the club. Um, yeah, so actually, so bringing, uh, what was I going to say? So all of our Zodiac signs, that's what we are. We'd love to hear what kind of Zodiac or what your Zodiac sign is when you guys are born, if you believe in this stuff, if you think it's pseudoscience. Hopefully we convince you a little bit more because I was definitely convinced by these two, just by patterns and just the knowledge that they have and, and knowledge that other people have too. Books. You gotta read a lot of books. Um, I wouldn't say convince. I kind of like to spread the knowledge that I know, and and if you vibe with educate. me, educate. Yeah, like for me, because with education, I feel like it's almost like reprimanding someone. Like this is what you are. This is how it is. But for me, I like to speak freely and be like, hey, like. You know, for for me, like, if someone is a water sign, I know that they're very sensitive and compassionate. So I wouldn't be like, hey, you're an asshole. Like, I know that that would offend them. So, you know, going back with the Zodiac, I feel like in my life, in, in the way I speak to people, I can approach people the way I'm... You know, that's a good way to look at it. I think it's definitely beneficial because uh, I feel like if you're born around the same time as someone else, there's definitely going to be major similarities. I mean, you're obviously not going to be the same exact person, but you're definitely going to have a lot of similarities, definitely going to have a lot of traits that, you know, go along. I feel like a lot of people sometimes just don't see how the zodiac signs are connected. Like, for example, Eric's sister is a Leo. But she, in my opinion, like, she's nothing like a Leo. Like, she's just, like, she's, like, very bookwormy. She reminds me of a Virgo. She's very into books, editing, computer. Like, she's not, like, active, going to the gym, running around. I I, I feel like she is, like, a Leo, though, in yeah. her own way. Like, she's dumb. So, so are Leo's, like, cats, right? It. Well, Leo is a lion. Yeah, which is a cat. And I feel like she just like kind of just is perched up in her but little corner. But look at your mom. Like your mom's a Leo, and she is yeah. that woman runs five miles, goes here, goes there. But all it's the different, errands are done. Though. Like I, I'm saying, like there's so many different types of signs. Like for example, Eric's mom is a Leo, and his sister's a Leo, right? But his mom gets up at five o'clock in the morning. She goes on a run. She cleans the house. Eric's sister likes to read. She likes to eat pasta. She likes to kind of lounge, but I feel like she's super dominant in <clears throat> her field, which is she's a book reader. That's all she does. She's the best at it. She re- she reads books. She writes reviews on it. Like, I th- feel like one of, being Leo is ha- being the best, being the top, and just having that ego 
it's not necessarily like, oh, you have to be fit, you have to do this. It's you know, you could be it well, in your own sense. That's a good point because for me, I guess since I am a fire sign, so Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries are the the three fire elements. So for me, I'm, I'm that's how I am. I'm I'm crazy. I'm energetic. Going to the gym, trying to do everything on my to do list. So you know, Eric's mom is similar to me. So I feel like that's where I'm also a little bit like hesitant. Like, why isn't she like us? Yeah, you know. Yeah. But you're right because the ego yeah. is... and that's why I feel like the mis there's like a misconception of zodiac signs because it's like you have to be this this and that. It's like no, you don't, dude. Like you could be, you know, like everybody's different. Clearly, you're not gonna wake up and have the same exact regimen. Like there's so many different ways to go about it. And then, like I said, moon signs, rising, all of that, the natal chart comes. Yeah, that's into that's play. deeper. That's like. Yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Can, wait, wait. I have a question. Let's ask each other what their favorite signs are. No, I mean, that's bi Come on, there's but, bias. But in come there. on. I but, mean, but favorite in what? Like in business, in relationship, business, in life? Friendship, and... relationship. Uh, it's a hard question. <laughs> like, like who? okay, who are you most compatible with? And it could be anything in a relationship, in a friendship, money, work wise. Like, for example, for me, um, I mean, I wanted to ask somebody, but I'll give an example. For me, I feel like Aquariuses are the zodiac sign that I get along best with. I really understand them. I, my nephew, for example, or your dad, I really understand them. They have no filter, and they're like crazy Albert yeah, Einstein genius, sure. but I, I have a connection with them. Yeah, and, and that, takes, that takes a lot of time and a lot of pattern recognition, um, like Definitely. understanding the person's birthday and then like kind of cross-referencing them with other people that you know that have similar birthdays Definitely. and it takes a while for you to kind of understand that so if you don't feel like you match or you don't know who you match with it's probably because you haven't really tried to study birthdays or the different groups that people are in it's just a level thing it's very hard like um we were never taught it uh our mom kind of just had books lying around from the library and it kind of just came to me like you know one day i would and it wasn't very young it may be like what 20 if that like i kind of saw the book kind of read it kind of like no it. dude we were like, like raised young? on this shit i remember being like eight years old and just like stumbling upon a zodiac love book and i'm like what's my horoscope like well i think also for individuals say for like an air sign like yo um sometimes you just don't know how to act like you don't know like like is this acceptable in society is it not like you know and i think really relaying to your zodiac sign can help you become the person you're supposed to be you know with arts or you know communication or podcasting it you can really figure out your outlet to life yeah. you know yeah. to creativity to your work ethic you know there are people that hire a, a group of uh yeah, that's you, so interesting a company oh, yeah. Yeah. I, was, that, I was talking about how like big corporations or like big you know companies across america or even globally they'll hire an expert to come in and teach management who they should put in certain positions based on their birthdays or zodiac signs and and it definitely increases business and they continue to do it um maybe maybe it is a little bit of a placebo to some people if they don't believe in it Dude, that's so cool. you know like they have a they have an expert kind of do like a team building exercise and everyone kind of gets to know each other but um, maybe there actually is some evidence out there that it, it doesn't affect the workplace. It could be placebo versus not knowing what the fuck you're good at. And they right. said, you know what? Instead of taking pictures, we're going to put you in team management. Right. And now this strong person isn't yelling at the models because she can't get the things right. He's really dominating where he's supposed to be. And the team sees him as a leader, trusts him as a leader. And now his voice is being used properly, you know? Yeah. So... No, I agree. I just feel like there's just so it's like zodiac is such a topic that you know we can spend hours on. But the main topic of this episode is actually Mercury retrograde. Right. So the the zodiacs all correlate with stars, which have kind of always been there, and they haven't really changed. Like there was a whole almanac where they kind of predicted you know where the stars are going to be and weather patterns and you know where the moon is and it's all based on the stars so zodiacs have kind of always been around and it it's kind of weird to think about like how many different versions of you have there been that 
were kind of almost similar to you because they were Tauruses or Sagittariuses or Cancers. Yeah. We should do like a quiz or something. Right? Kind of crazy to think about. There, your sister actually gave us one one time. It was like a website where you put your, I guess your, 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 I don't know, your birthday or something, and it shows you all like the infamous, like like famous celebrities, like well, geniuses, oh, sorry, artists. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, and it showed you like similarities in them, and I thought that was pretty cool. But like, um, I would love to know like our uh viewers like who what Who's kind of what? signs they are and you know who we're really attracting in this podcast and who they relate to the most yeah that'd be so cool we should definitely do like a poll i guarantee you they're all gonna be like we relate to yo <laughs> yeah <laughs> in the back he's literally doing like nothing. asleep just sleep behind he's the probably glass. on tiktok yeah. he's obsessed with it he sleep though he sleep though <laughs> literally um not true so do you want to get us started on mercury retrograde or like yeah. really what it means um, or i mean i feel like that is just a huge topic in itself <sighs> like i don't i honestly don't even want to talk about Mercury retrograde because I don't want to manifest any technical difficulty because I'm shook. Good line. We're going to just Hashtag skim. Shook. We're just going to skim top. Um, we referenced it back in episode one and it was Mercury retrograde then and it still is now. And I kind of want to just talk about the topic before it does end because it's in the now. So um, let me just ask everybody let's just give a brief summary does anybody know anything about mercury retrograde i do i know what you know girl i know, what you know? mercury retrograde in my like if i could explain it it would be like basically a horror it could it's not a horrible time but it's just a time where miscommunication things are you know your phone gets buggy you have a little earphone t a headphone twitch or your car doesn't start right away there's no gas all of a sudden just like random technology vehicle difficulties even communication in a relationship a lot of you know fights over stupid stuff and it's just because everything in you know with the planets is just whacked it's like you got a whack job eric <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I definitely, she touched on a lot of, there's a lot there that we could digest. But um, I just want to know based off you, and then I'm going to ask you. Cool, so, so not to, like, repeat all of what she said on, on like, how it affects you, um, but I'll go, like, kind of like the, like, the scientific, you know, Mercury is the planet, right? So, the best way that I was explained what's actually going on, on in the sky is, if you've ever been on the highway, and you look at the car next to you, or in a car commercial when you see the car driving and you see the rims in specific it looks like they're spinning one way and if you keep looking at it it kind of like slows down and then it almost looks like it's spinning backwards like the like the shine of the rim it looks like it's you know you could spin it's looking like it's spinning clockwise for instance and then the video continues and the rims look like they're spinning the opposite way but the car is still driving forward I was explained that that's what's happening with the planets. So Mercury is on the inner ring of our solar system and it's spinning so fast and compared to us that when we see it in the sky or when it crosses our path, at certain times it's going so fast that it kind of it rotates us. backwards. It looks like it's rotating backwards like that car commercial. That's, that's the best so way to explain crazy. it. I never even knew that's really what was happening. It's not that. actually going backwards. It's just the angles of the way that we're all spinning and and you know it passes it passes so many times it's the fastest moving planet so visually it looks like it's going backwards and that's where since you know the beginning of time they say that that mercury was the the, the king or or the ruler of communication and technology and and transportation uh, you know moving goods back and forth so at the time where it feels like it's moving backwards, it kind of moves humanity backwards. And that's where you start to see, you know, faulties in technology or your, like Tiffany said, you get the car breaking down, which happened to me recently Literally, in, in me Mercury too. Retrograde. Me too. <laughs> I, I don't want to keep going on a tantrum, but again, mm -hmm. today uh, I, I just got my car fixed because the oil light for the first time, I, I got an oil change. They gave it back to me and then the oil light started blinking. I, I, I snapchatted everyone just proof because I've never seen it. It was like blinking buggy, bing, 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 bing. And then like the, you could hear the car sound like a, the, as if the seatbelt was, was 
like off and it was beeping but not not like in a steady like beep beep yeah, it was like beep 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 like it was like, it was like was literally just like flickering so like weird so, like, so weird you're haunted yo yes what's your knowledge on on mercury retrograde none <laughs> you, you know you know nothing you can't explain so if an alien were to drop down and be like yo <laughs> give me, give me your rundown. <laughs> Murder like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't belong here. Well, I mean, I think you two kind of nailed it on the head, but just backtracking a little bit. Planets have been here forever. Stars have been here forever. Um, and I do think that it is imperative to kind of watch them or kind of just understand what they're going through too, you know? Like, yeah, how it's you, like the weather. Like, you want to know what's going on. Absolutely. And that being said, like you said, um, Mercury is the ruling planet of communication, transportation. So, you know, these are everyday activities that we do, that we're using. We use our phones constantly. We use our cars, trains, planes, buses, things like that. So in hindsight, it's more the sense of just being aware if Mercury is retrograding because you're almost ahead of time. Like what you said when the planet appears to be going to appears to look like it's going backwards, it's still rotating the same way. But what happens is, like you said again, it's going so fast it almost double laps us. Right. So everything that's transitioning slowly, it's like it just got double lapped. Do we have any, like, funny stories from Mercury Retrograde? Because I'm yeah. kind of like, this, like, is like, I feel like I'm in a science class. Yeah, I mean, it's, and it's <laughs> perceived to be, like, a really negative thing. But, okay, it's today, yeah. I mean, there's, I've, I've been trying to clock how many, like, negative, like, I mean, negative, quote, unquote, things happen. Today, I tried to buy a lotto ticket. I didn't tell any of you guys. I tried to buy oh, a lotto ticket. I bought, ticket like, five. In, yeah, uh, yeah in, uh, in the vending machine. <clears throat> and there was, like, a whole bunch of commotion going on in front of it. And someone's, like, dollar wasn't working. And uh, I started to wait online, and I felt like I was there for, like, five minutes. But it got to a point that I was like, all right, I just got to wait. Because I've been waiting for a long time. And, like, imagine I leave, and then, and like, the next wins. person wins. Yeah, so I waited. Always think like that. Right? I waited. And the guy was, like, I guess he was a big gambler. But he put in, like, $150 into this vending machine. They don't give change. So he's going to spend it all. And he's sitting there, like, looking at all the things. And he oh, picks it. so annoying. Right? So I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to buy the same one that he did. And I bought it, and it didn't come out. And it was a $30 lotto ticket. Oh it didn't come God. out. It got that, stuck. That is so the definition. So what happened? <laughs> that is the definition. It got, st- it got stuck, it. right? And then? The guy, the guy, the guy already then... left. You know, you know those people that, <laughs> <the people that kind of just sit there and scratch all day? Like, I wish he was one of those. But he left. I was like, damn. Like, I have no one to prove. Like, how, how do you even prove that? I met such a sweetheart of a lady. The little gas station work it, worker came over and she opened up the vending machine and she gave it to me. She said, "Oh, it's, it's been so weird. The, the last like couple of days, it's been like that. Like all of them have been kind of kind of buggy." So I, I went retro. back. I went back and I tried to buy another one because that one lost. Obviously, it's retrograde. <laughs> I tried to buy another <laughs> it's one. It's retrograde, retrograde. And that button was broken. I couldn't buy another one. Maybe that's just a sign that Mercury didn't want you gambling. I mean, I'm not even a heavy gambler. I'm not. I don't even. I haven't even been like able that. to clock in for like the past two weeks <laughs> at my job. Oh my god, <laughs> we're all losing money. <laughs> so many <laughs> no, I have to like call my manager and like he's like he like send an email and was just like to our HR. He's like, do we need to get a physical punch in clock for the people in the front? I was like, dude. I'm just letting you know I'm here 10 minutes early our day. So, this marker retrograde. Have you been able to clock in at work? Absolutely. But not even on my phone. I, like, pulled oh, it off I my do. phone. I have them all portals, girl. Um, something happened to me today at Whole Foods. I was doing some returns, and usually when I, when I put my card in, they can print out a receipt. They have everything there the day I got it, this and that. And for some reason, the computer just wasn't working. And this poor lady was, like, sitting here, like, trying to help me do the most. Like, I obviously didn't have a receipt, like an idiot. But just the whole transaction and almost, like, the timing, too. I was getting, like, so frustrated. And I was like, you know what? Let me just stop because the more and more is just going to go against me. And I'm, like, I, I'm here all day. Fuck What's it, the like? best thing you could do? I feel like I get so frustrated in those situations, too. And then as soon as you tell yourself, like, okay, this isn't my fault. I can't control this. This is literally the planets, like, arguing with each other. I'm good. 
Let's just let this the rock. way the way I see it is like women get their period once a month. You don't know if a planet can get their period. You don't really we don't know anything <laughs> about yeah, I mean, it happens three times a year. So there uh, is a pattern there. Three times three Does to four, it happen three times yeah. every year? Three to four times yeah. a year, depending on a leap year and how many days and whatnot and where it falls. Mm-hmm. And it's for anywhere from two to three weeks. <laughs> so my advice is stay the fuck home. And Yo, mind have you had any experiences business. that like have been like like any car troubles or any like work, you know, anything communication? Have you fought with anybody? Anything? No. Well, firsthand, I can tell you that's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. <laughs> this dude literally had to just spend almost two grand getting his car fixed. So <laughs> that's not true, honey. It was retrograding when you not had true. your. Yes, it was. It He's a non-believer, and you know we love our non-believers out there. Much love, much Let love. Let me see it, and I'll believe it. Okay, okay so uh, so I'm gonna look it up. So right now. so hear me out. Hear me out. Let's let's ask Yo if any of these comply with the timing so i just did a little bit of research just to kind of get a little bit more knowledge of what What to talk talk about about. and here's some of um kind of like the symptoms i would call it that happen or how people feel during mercury retrograde um usually people have a creative block yo no doesn't apply no okay um usually people are in a rush i'm always in a rush Ah, we got you there. Um, forgetful. I never forget. Chaotic. Always. Judgments a little off or hazy. No. Yeah, oh, come on, dude. You're lying <laughs> on that one. I'm not. We all we all lie, said we all lie, said seven, lie. right? What? We all said seven we're gonna one. start t- today. We're gonna start the episode at seven o'clock. Yeah. You we guys pulled up at seven <laughs> o'clock. No, 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 no. You guys were oh, eating oh, oh, at oh. seven something. Oh, Don't get seven me only. started. Oh. Oh. Round one. <laughs> Argumentative. Mercury retrograde. I'm anyway, I have a question for, for you, yo. Do you recall the dates that you got um, work done on your car, or no? Oh, you mean you're talking about the car inspection I failed about? Two months ago. That was not two months ago. Oh, you're you're right. Three months. My bad. No, so basically he got work done. I went to Orlando about the first, and you were getting car done that probably next week. So Mercury Retrograde started February 16th. Yeah, that's too late. No, it's not. Yeah, because the car was broken before that. I think that's and true. You're a- wrong. No, it's no. okay no. to be wrong. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to pull up the paperwork for you because he doesn't even know. He didn't. Yo, why is Tiff up in my like biz, bro? I'm not even going to pull him Eric, up. Eric, why are you bringing this girl like this a <laughs> while? Because you're a non-believer and you need to believe. I never believe. Uh, you know, I think everybody can have their own <clears throat> views on it, but you know what really hits you is when you get all this knowledge and shit, and then it's just you and your life, and something happens, and you're like, fuck, is, is this what they mean? Okay, about okay, but here's the thing. Here's my theory. Isn't that just something that we all do in order for us to be like, oh, okay, that's why this happened. Because, you know, as humans, we like to, like, make sense of everything. Of course. Yeah. I, I completely hear you, and I completely understand. But w- what I'm trying to kind of relay back is that when you are aware of the timing, you're more enlightened and susceptible mm-hmm. to be like, oh, wait, let me not do this. Or wait, <clears throat> let me take my time. Let me not rush. Let me, you know, go with the flow. And if shit ends up getting fucked One thing, up. though, I'm just confused. Like, how can you not think that it's connected, you know? Like, like what's it's connected? It's like another thing. Like, Mercury retrograde, for example. A lot of people don't think that that's real or whatever, non-believers. But when shit is constantly happening to you or happening to others around you, it's like, you fucking know that this there's something going on whether it's mercury in retrograde jupiter in retrograde there's always something happening with okay planets. here's my view on it had you guys never told me about this i wouldn't have ever 
thought about it. You would have never known. You would have never right. given a shit. But it's taught I, information. It's we, not something we know, like breathing or eating. It's taught. Let's information. go to folktale. Let's go to folktale. Do you, yo, do you, do you remember hearing or like just the concept of like werewolves coming out or like vampires around the full moon? Do you, yes. Okay. <clears throat> do you do you feel because there is data that backs this that on full moons there's more crime there's more accidents there's more injuries there's more 911 calls than normal there's a lot of weird stuff the tides get a little crazy the what the earth becomes a little a okay. little weird and tides the, absolutely okay the moon completely correlates let me stop you there the, okay you said tides absolutely right yes what are we made out of Water, 90%. I don't know well, if it's, it's, not, it's I don't basically know if it's 90, six, six, it's a, six. You know about that, right? Yeah, yeah. There's we're we're made out of water. That's that's really what it comes down. Almost everything it, with what about light. The six electrons, protons, and six neutrons. We're going deep. We're okay, going. But it's you're skipping the whole part of it. I, I'm just this I'm just trying to get some like agreement. Dealing with a freaking non-believer, like you believe that the moon and the tides have something to do with life. Right. But you don't have, do. but you it's don't just small steps. We'll take them there. We'll take them there. And oh God, and if anyone, so if anyone, if anyone, there's a lot of people that don't that don't grasp this. Ninety percent of the people listening and visually watching us don't know shit. <clears throat> they heard it and they're like Mercury's in Gatorade and all this stuff. Like and there's nothing, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. They're, they're just not informed. <laughs> I like that. They're just not informed. And literally using you as an example, you are going to meet people that. Not that he's wrong, because I'm the same way. If I don't believe something, I'm like, I don't get it. This is dumb. So, you know, in hindsight, when you are when you are aware of things and when you almost not that you can expect it, I could sense Mercury retrograde two weeks before it even happens yeah, because I true. know I feel it. I hear the wind and I know this is it's fucking crazy shit. <laughs> I feel it like I'm like, you said it. I shit you not. Like, I'll be like, uh, is Mercury retrograde? Look at... And I'm like, fuck, dude. But, like, honestly, the point of this podcast, at least this episode, isn't to, like, drag it out or, like, make you a believer. It's just to educate you. Like, right. Like, if you, this is something that you think is bullshit, cool. Move on to next episode. You don't really have to... Like, it's really not that important. But Absolutely. if it's something that you're like, wait, that did happen to me. Or, like, right. hold on. I do relate to that. Or, like, okay, my boyfriend doesn't really listen to me either when Mercury retrogrades. It's like, this is just somewhere where you could listen. You could just, you know, hear what we're going through during this shit hey Mercury. Well, I, I have an actual example. Um, I just downloaded this uh, app called Robin Hood. It's, 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 not a, it's, it's not a paid no, sponsorship this isn't a paid sponsorship. Like but, it's a good um, app, though. You should I, I wanted to utilize a different way of doing stocks, and I downloaded Robinhood. And as we all know, I'm not sure if people wa watch and observe stocks. The fucking market <laughs> crashed. No clue. No, I don't even know what a stock is. Long story short, fuck the, fuck the market because, like like Yo said, this can happen any, any given Sunday. Okay? It crashed. But that's not the point here. The app that almost, like, 2 million people used the app specifically crashed so not only did the market crash the technological app literally broke they don't know what happened they don't know how it happened it just fucking broke <laughs> yeah it's That's it's it. it's kind of crazy we That's i it. uh i had an event over the weekend and it was a, a multi-floor event it was a basement a first floor and a second floor people on all three events uh, all, all three floors i'm sorry every single bathroom broke Every single so one. Weird. It was so crazy. Nightmare. We called plumbers. There was like we we called three different plumbing companies. They all came, and we're like, we don't know. We it's just. How, we, oh, who was the majority of the people there? Men. Yeah. Men. Ages. Um. It was. I mean, it was. What one, type of event was it? Like Fourteen. To it was 15. a game. It was a game huh. event. No, 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 no. Fourteen-year-olds no. clogging Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. That was the last day. Literally. The last day. That was the last day. The first three days were were grown adults playing video games. Playing playing video games, but the but the plumbers, pl multiple plumbers saw the toilets, um, and they had no idea what it was, and they and it was a huge deal because it backed up the lines, and people started to get a little angry. Um, I believe you, and, Eric. I and, believe it was Mercury retrograde. And, and, yeah. and in and in my I heart, do. in my soul, going back to yo because it. 
the whole point of life is really taking people that don't believe it, which is understandable, and really reciprocating back to this issue. I can understand if one, okay, two bathrooms broke, but every bathroom breaking, and it's something as simple as a toy. It's something as simple as one little pipe. It's something as simple as the boiler machine down in the basement. You understand? So this is how what we're working with my as sink, humans. My sink is clogged in my house. I just realized. Like, when you start to think about, all, <laughs> like, like backed up, like, all right, guys, you can't even wash I your had hands. a very serious situation happen to me, B, way before Mercury Retrograde okay, that tough. included some piping and water expo... Look, all I'm saying is, it was way before Mercury started retrograde. It wasn't way before, Excuse me, though. Way Excuse, me. Before. Excuse me, but here's my thing. You don't know when that issue actually physically happen uh -huh. you're in front of the door you're not behind mm -hmm. the door you're not behind the wall so you don't know if two months ago when the fucking pipe was getting backed up Mira oh no i know exactly or... what happened and but, it had nothing to do with it was human of error course, of course human, human error, error but how convenient that it happened during the, the whole retrograde. month before yeah there's a pre-retrograde there's a pre and an so you can blame everything I'm I'm like, oh i broke my fucking leg mercury's retrograding in five months <laughs> Yeah, I, I hear you. I hear that side of it. Well, that's why for Debbie me... Downer. <laughs> that's why for me, I'm actually like... I avoid traveling when Mercury's retrograding. I avoid signing any legal contracts. I like to keep my cell phone with an extra case, extra cover in my purse, in my jacket. Like, I'm pro I've am i lost most of my phones during a Mercury retrograde. I've cracked my phones almost always when Mercury's retrograding. Um, I fuck up my computers. Problems I with debit cards. and I was on the phone today with Amex for two hours, man. It's like... Mm -hmm. Just miscommunications over the phone. He thinks I said something. He transferred me to one department. They go on the department. They're not briefed. It's just like... Flat tires during Mercury retrograde. I remember one yeah, time my axle crazy. broke in half on my uh, Volkswagen Passat Mercury retrograde. Damn. And this this takes time for me to process and understand. And being 21 when this, this stuff happened, I'm just a stupid kid. But now being 30, I'm like, wow, I really, you know, if Mercury's retrograding, I try not to go out. I definitely try not to drive. I'm ve I'm just precautious on the on the things that I do because I know it's happening. But that's me. really like what we're trying to bring is awareness. Just, Absolutely. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. Just keep it in the back of your head. So when you really cannot figure out what the fuck is going on, you're like, okay, it's not an excuse. It's not, it's not something to look up for. You're looking for something to blame it on. It's just like, okay, this is facts. There is something going on in the planets right now that is not on its normal schedule. And that is possible to just make things out of whack. Even something as small as like communication. Like I remember I went to like a doctor's appointment and like they're like, oh, no, honey, like that's next week. Like and I'm just like, but it was in my calendar. You guys sent me the Google calendar. So like it's just like little things like the you Google see, calendar. like literally yeah, it was in the calendar. So I found something online um, <laughs> because it's it's kind of cool how social media works. Like during these times, like everyone starts posting about it. So if you're if you kind of follow people that that do accept retrograde or, or astrology or zodiac signs, you kind of see content around it. Or if you don't, you know, just look up hashtags while you're at it. Just look up Omnia podcasts. Go our, go to our socials. We'll probably be posting about retrograde. Oh, but yeah. um, for retrograde, I saw this list and everything started with the letters R E, like retrograde, R R E, right? A so which because I had two little sayings here. But so I, so I'll just throw some words. I'll just throw some words at you. Go. Rest, reset, reveal. Go slow. Sure. Rest. So if you're if you're if you're just like your mind scattered, you're really tired. Take a rest. Take a breather. You know what? It, well, can you say these things and I, I can kind of chime in when I want to. Sure. Yeah. I have rest, a list here. Resting is really important during Mercury retrograde because a lot of things need to be recharged. And that's one of them. Recharge, reboot. So one of the big problems is like computers or your cell phone or if you use old iPods or any type of touch technology or, or whatever it is. If you're having issues, most issues could be fixed with just a reboot. Just restart it. Wait, it, wait but I want to hear you read the full list okay. out. Okay. I okay. So, know. so I'll, I'll go again because it's. I think it's cool to, to hear about it over and over again and kind of process it again. So rest, reset. It could be technology yourself. Reveal. Renew. 
reflect, refresh, reevaluate, reassess before you speak, reassess, realign yourself, review before you send things out. Just take a look at it just one more time. If you're going to send that email, make sure you're sending it to the right person because it'll happen at this exact time. Redo. If you feel like it's not 100% or if you feel like there might be, you know, a little bit of miscommunication in what you're trying to present, whether it's vocally, on a document, at work, a presentation, you can redo it. And with that, you could relearn things. You look at patterns and you rethink. And like we said, reboot, man. Reboot yourself, reboot technology. If things get a little fuzzy or a little hazy, if your internet's not working as quick as you're used to, don't get frustrated. Rediscover. And the last one again, reboot. I mean, it's like... They put it on there twice? It's on there like three or four times. It's so <laughs> it's important. Like, yeah, reboot, reboot, because reboot. It's so, you have to understand where this planet is coming from. This planet is basically a computer before a computer existed. It is communication technology. Like, and... Uh, it goes hand in hand. It's you, what makes it's what makes humans different. You need to shut your laptop right. off and let it recharge for right. about the whole day. Fuck it, charge it up, leave it there, shut it off because we all know we don't shut our our iPhones, our iPads, our everything. Shut it off and let it reboot. Like oh you God, need I to actually reboot. Did that it, sometime, you know when I met him, his first cell phone never shut off ever. He never restarted it. Yeah, it I never turned shut it on. Off. I turned it on at the store and. I, I never turned off. Sometimes you really need to, especially, especially with electronics, they need to just have that format of just shutting it off and turn it back on again. You know when you call your IT guy and he's like, "Shut it off and turn it back on again." I hate like that. I'm like, duh. I logged out, logged in, logged out, logged in. Reboot, reboot. And but we and we are technology in ourselves too. So if you're on that everyday grind or you're you're working a job and then a job at night. If you do need to take that one day to reboot yourself or, you know, the weekend, um, retrograde is a is a perfect time to do that. And I want to I want to hone in on two words I think you may have said. Um, reflect was one of them. A lot of times uh, during Mercury retrograde, people kind of get nostalgia and they kind of go back into time they kind of miss someone you know a family member that's passed or an ex-boyfriend an ex-girlfriend well, sorry but, to cut you off but even if you don't miss them they just show up right that's like a thing too right 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 like they just you, you happen to run into them or you know they come up in conversation and i and i really think um a lot of people don't even realize that they're doing it during this time but once you're aware you can change that reflection. So if you're like have like negative thoughts or you're missing someone, you're getting nostalgia, you're alone or whatever, really reflect on on, you know, positive things, positive things that you want to do. Also mm -hmm. reignite. Reignite's one of them. If you have any old ideas that you never got to do, a podcast, a YouTube channel, make an Instagram, get back to it. It's really, really, really about reassessing your dreams and your vision. Right now with this sacred time, it's all about communication, communicating with yourself. Let me get in my head and really see all the things that were on my to-do list that I never got around to do you know like yeah no for sure i feel like that's super important you have to reevaluate reboot reboot you know some people have journals and diaries or even like notes on their phone scroll through that note list girl you know you got 200 notes clean that shit out i clean found a new r word or maybe not <laughs> like reassess there's so many things that now is the time to not be moving you need to stay put Get your plan in order, working out, eating better, building a business, building a brand, doing something positive. Well, you said don't sign contracts. So would you would you recommend starting something at this time or should you wait until the retrograde happens? I recommend writing the shit down, gathering your thoughts and ideas and waiting for the right time to really execute and dominate yeah and also mercury retrograde isn't like a huge like half of the year thing it's like for a month or a couple of weeks like two three weeks so you can really wait it out like if you're gonna sign a contract or a lease or anything like that you definitely want to wait it out it's really not worth it there's Just get everything together there's been so many times where i'm about to sign uh a brand deal 
and they just stop answering. And I'm like, you know what? Now I need to reassess. I can't be so thirsty for it. Negotiate the contract. What's it going to hurt? What's it going to take an extra week? If you're still communicating with the buyer or the potential brand you're working with, it is what it is. But, you know, for me, I feel more confident and, um, you know, I feel longevity when I don't sign things during Mercury Retrograde, especially with that deal or that brand. Well, for those who don't have uh, any type of, you know, contracts that you guys are signing on a daily and you can't really relate with what she's saying, just think about communication overall. So if, you know, your loved one comes home and they're just a little bit off or they're just not conversating the right way or just you know dinner wasn't done fast enough or or something just take a step back realize that what you are about to say may not be what you normally say it may be because there might be some external influence like a planet or something i can relate it's just bigger than us you know like we there's we have to be ignorant if we say that we know everything about the universe like there's there's no way we know everything so i know everything i i i'll lean on the side that um, you know, if, if our ancestors since the beginning of time charted these zodiacs and they're still around and that concept still exists and, you know, and, I, and I'm still born a Taurus and she's still b born a Sagittarius and those things are still around and people are still talking about it, just like folktale, there's some, there's some type of truth in that. Absolutely. I absolutely well agree said. with that. God, speed. God bless Mark. Um, but it does hit us all a little differently. And I do believe Mercury is the ruling planet of Gemini, Yo, and Virgo. So when Mercury retrogrades, I think Virgo and Gemini kind of get in the feels a little bit more. Or maybe in their head. I, I don't know. That that. Again. Is, that, is that every time or is that when it passes through the sign? Because if it happens three times a year, it'll, it'll affect. It'll be in different signs every time, right? But the moral of the story is like. I think Cancer and Taurus, the ruling planet is Venus. So that's lovey, cuddly romance. But with uh, Virgo and Gemini, I believe their ruling planet is Mercury. So they get it, but, you know, it's all on the person, how they feel, how they're raised, what they're doing. You know, like some people wouldn't even, you know, they're like, well, have, <laughs> everything's great. And some people really, for example, like one of our good friends, Caesar, he was born during a mercury retrograde and, and a full moon a, and he's a gemini so that's his ruling planet so it actually mercury retrograde has like a total opposite effect on him i feel like million percent dude it's, it's crazy. crazy it's, it's crazy. crazy i think th when the moon what what right. what phase the moon is in when you're at birth that all goes into natal chart and other, a whole other fucking episode of bullshit. But let me get into how people should act. No, I'm just kidding. This is just some how advice that I feel should like. Act? No, no, just some advice that I could give to a friendly friend or friendly foe. She sent it to the group chat. Yeah, but I can't read it in the page. These are my notes. Uh. Yeah, I want to filter through them. <laughs> First one is have compassion. Compassion. Yikes. Never that. And, and what I mean by that is you, you don't really know what someone else is going through, Thanks. especially during this t sacred time. They could have just fought with their boyfriend. They could have just fought with their mom. And, you know, when you walk in and someone has a scumbag attitude, just have compassion, you know. Scumbag. For me, during Mercury Retrograde, I if someone's I go I hear some I hear fighting I hear negativity I go the opposite way my ass stays home during this time because I'm very accident prone I'm not afraid to slap the shit out no I'm just kidding but I just don't want drama like you know what I'm saying I want peace and tranquility um the next one is don't rush so if you leave your keys at home take that second Live in that second. Dude. You, don't, you don't know what car accident's going to pile up on freaking the turnpike. Take your time. There's there's a reason why this is happening, and I don't know if anyone's seen Interstellar, but I I, so I just good. always go back to that. Don't even bring that up. I'm going to cry my eyes out. And guess what? That was based on space and planets. Was he a planets. cancer? Well, look that up. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yo, have you seen that movie? No. What? Oh, we're watching it right after this. No, we're not. Last yes, five we minutes. Are. Yeah, he falls asleep, whatever he does. That's a fact. Green. <laughs> it's very hard to keep you focused on something. I yeah, like... maybe you were born during a Mercury retrograde. We should look that up. Um, I wouldn't know. Um, Nor would you. Does it relate if your parents don't give a damn? 
Maybe. Well, that's... My... <laughs> but, but that's kind of what Tiffany was saying. Yo, Tiffany's being a bully. I'm yeah, a this, big this fat episode, bully. This episode, there's a little bit of tension yeah, between the, the rooms right now. Okay. Mercury, Mercury retrograde! Actually, yeah. check your sister. Mercury retrograde because pe- some people want to okay. think that... The next don't one is don't take them things them personal, okay? okay? Don't yeah, take things you, personal. Exactly, Tiffany, yo. Don't, don't take, take things so personal. I'm not. <laughs> Sounds the next like one I have hurt. is rethink your actions. So if you're about to do some, not even shady shit, if you're about to do some, you know, like, oh, people always have that, like, evil villain in them, like, I'm going to fuck shit up today. Reevaluate your fucking life, you know? No. Just, just, just because, I don't know, these are just my thoughts. And then I have... I like your thoughts. Thank you. They're really organized and, like, color coordinated. <laughs> I also have redo anything you think you've missed or put down. Yeah, so, yeah, like, that. with that email, redo, reread, rethink. We're so fucking scatterbrained right now. Um, it, it's important to just review your work. Um, I also have avoid fights. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> uh, I have be patient, don't lash out, and don't, don't sign out, any yeah. contracts. Or patient, documents yeah. could be anything, um, huh? and and again pre-plan any old ideas. So any you know old ideas you you thought you could do anything you want to do you know just really hone into that. Hone in. So is it po- <laughs> is it possible that we just only focus on the negative at this time and and remember the negative things? I, or- sorry. No, no, continue. go ahead. I feel like that's another misconception. Like, it's not negative. I feel like all of these things are happening for a reason, and the planets need them to happen. It's like, it's good if you're aware so you can, you know, decipher what's important or not, but like. Kind of like forest fires. All right, they're kind of right. have to happen. Right. Sure. Well, for me, I really feel like it's more about your own life's value and what i mean by that is that if you didn't get the fucking message three months ago you're gonna mm-hmm. keep reliving it until you get the message get the and message. nobody's gonna know the message but you mm-hmm. you keep fucking up doing the same shit you're the only one that's gonna suffer through and i can and i can really say that in my own life because i yeah, no, I, I, I i i have like i i, I do see almost reoccurring things like you know it'd be my car it'd be me rushing that is something that i always do i'm fucking rushing during everything and i'll i'll get like really badly injured like i I remember one time during mercury retrograde i i was in my car went to go leave my car was moving too quick slammed my fucking thumb in a range rover truck car that you have to physically now release to get it out was having a fake nail on my I finger too. That. You had like an ugly thumb for like a year. I think I think you got another injury too during retrograde when you were. Uh, I stabbed myself. Uh, no, no, no. Well, maybe that one too. But you were cleaning a glass, <gasps> and there was like a. Yeah, like but a she break always glass. breaks. Glasses. Oh my god, that's right. Like literally every time she does dishes, she's like, "Oh fuck!" I'm like. Psh- yeah, but to cut yourself like that and like gash yeah. open is yeah, it's yeah. Sure. What know? I was gonna say, well, but what? Who's the artist that's like, man, get the message? <laughs> you said get the message. It was like I thought of like a rapper, like a female rapper. It's like I don't know. Cardi B. She's like. You need to get the method. Oh, oh, get in Texas. Um, get in Texas. Yeah, but that's that. You know, I really think that like people hone in on the negative and the bad aspects of Mercury retrograde when it's really just you need to be, which maybe something air signs don't do. They don't reciprocate back in their own feelings and say, hey, why do I feel this way? Hey, is this reoccurring? I don't know. You know, I don't know if they feel that way. I'm just saying like, maybe that's where that's where the missing link is. Missing. They're like, let's take every single thing that's wrong one by one, put it in a dark box in my brain and lock it and then burn it on fire. i think that's true but i also think that that a lot of people feel different ways when i'm when i'm down or when i'm i'm very you know i'm very i'm very strong person but when i'm down i feel like i'm like really down there's there's very there's no in between it's during mercury retrograde or just in general just in general you know okay so now we're back on the zodiac and just like what different types of signs feel yeah, I mean, it was just, you know, I was just flowing. But really, yeah, that's, you know. No, I feel you. Everyone's different. I feel like definitely 
maybe it's an air sign to just like not be logical. <laughs> no, I feel like air signs usually don't give a fuck. They're like carefree, they're loving, they live in the moment. What are the other <laughs> air signs? So air sign is Aquarius, Gemini, and uh, Libra. Libra. That's air. Then fire sign they is... They all definitely give a fuck probably the most, I'll tell right, you that Right, but much. they put that facade that they don't Yeah, mean. the facade, definitely. I'm okay, everything's gonna be great, but I literally hate myself. And then the fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And then earth signs are Taurus... Uh, fuck, what's the middle? Taurus. Taurus... Why am I blanking out? Oh, Capricorn. Tor- Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then water is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Pisces. So yes. those are the categories. If you if you could just look up on Google your birthday, type in like your your actual birthday date and then horoscope or, or zodiac, and it'll tell you which yeah. one you are. I'll give you a little synopsis. It's pretty interesting. I, I definitely. I think, I think the most important and most interesting part of it is that it's been around and has been studied by so many different people in every single country in all cultures. Come on. Like I the mean, almanac, the almanac that like it, she, it's in our blood. Yeah. It's in no, our I roots. think that's so this, cool. Too. This is this is our this is our real ancestry.com. The planets, the stars, the Egyptian sundials like this so is so weird. This is the shit that made Remember us. Remember when we watched that Egyptian like documentary because on Netflix? Because it all comes together. The Egyptians knew that Mercury was retrograde. They did. Matter of fact, they fucking pulled out the bodies and they were like click 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 here you go, dedication to Mercury no retrograde. Oh, they would sacrifices? sacrifice. Yeah, there would be certain times. Oh. Mercury Rossi. retrograde. Rossi. Yo. <laughs> um, Excuse me. No, but you know, even them so long ago, they knew. They, yeah, but I feel and, like there were aliens. But they had how, how nothing. How did that work out for them? Who knows? Where the fuck they at? That's exactly the Where the fuck I mean, they at? It's though? Said that's human. Bad. It's human, like nature. We all down. have to die. So. Said that's Did bad. they die though? Wh- what? E- all the Egyptians just went MIA. So where you the don't bodies know. at? Exactly. Like what? Where guess. the bodies at? Twenty twenty. No, that, that's a whole other topic of discussion. But in yeah. retrospect, Mercury is retrograding, so. and we want you to take precaution on this flight. So if this podcast doesn't work like if it doesn't record I'll, i'm a believer why would you even want that would be that? are we fault. recording oh yeah how far are we in that would be your fault 59 exactly Woo! one hour on exactly the one dance. hour if you guys are listening to us on audio only on or viewing door. us on the video part of it and you hit an hour drop a comment so we know you but guys are here with us. Tell us it's gonna be an hour Bro, yeah, you, see, you see, in in my life, in my my life, right? I feel like Mercury, like <laughs> I feel like since we dedicated time to like this topic, I feel like hitting the hour on the hour. We saw that hour. That was like Mercury, like being like, "I, right, you good?" Like that was like his Y'all blessing. Y'all get a pass. This like I, <laughs> that's how I feel. Computer immediately yeah, shuts off. <laughs> <laughs> you good. Can we all Sorry. make a promise that we're gonna get pink lemonades after this? And Tiffany almost didn't start this podcast because there isn't a uh, lemonade for me. I am so upset. She, she's a beverage gal. So. I'm a bev. I need my bev. <laughs> no, and you know what? Really. I also find hilarious is like Eric comes into the studio a couple days ago and I see him doing something and I'm like, oh, what are you doing? And he's like screwing in like. A cup holder to our chairs, and I'm like, "What are you doing?" There's cup and holders, he's like, and he's like, "We're testing yeah. one for this episode." Yeah, he's like, "Yeah, oh, the, you know, for all this and that." And I'm like, "Oh, awesome!" Like, yes, finally somebody appreciates. Uh, they respect no. the bev, and then today the we come, we come. Eric has seriously put in some serious work okay, into wait, this can, whole I podcast. Okay, so I come I just want to put that out there. <laughs> yeah, thanks, yeah. Eric. Thanks, Eric. Snaps, snaps, snaps for Eric. A lot of people help. I can't take all the credit. Okay, moral of the story. I come in today and I'm like, yes, I can't wait. I'm going to have my bed. I'm going to like slip it right here. Nobody's going to say anything about me putting it on the table. Nobody's going to say anything about the sound. And then I realize Eric's chair is the only one with <laughs> the holder. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, wait. <laughs> oh, you, oh, oh, you <laughs> see, misconception, Mercury, got you, bitch. I'm like, oh, you so thought this was for you? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's a test, guys. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, 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 anyone's, if, any, if anyone's really wondering, th- like like we did in episode one, we explained that there was a lot of people that helped make this visual part of the podcast. We didn't want to just do an audio only part of it. Uh, although we do ex- uh, appreciate anyone that listens to us in the background at their yeah, job yeah. or while they're driving. Um, yeah, we, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drive safely though. Dri- don't, like, yeah, yeah. You know, don't don't, don't look at your asshole. phone and, and look at the visual no, uh, part of it. But there is a visual part of it. There's a whole website that the whole team helped create. There's a whole social media that we're all running and uh, contributing content to. But we have these cameras. The cameras hopefully will expand very quickly and we'll get a lot more angles and it'll look prettier. But we're we're doing good with what we have. Yeah, a lot more cup holders. Cup holders. But <laughs> that's where I was getting at. We 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 created this table. Yo and I and and uh, a couple people helped us build this table from scratch because we're all crazy fanatics and we wanted it to be perfect and these these uh, chairs were were pick, picked specifically so the reason why there's only one cup holder right now is because i have to test it it's a test it's a test just like the first episode you know what a, i appreciate that because knowing me i'd be like oh i got a beverage holder and then i'm like put my <laughs> beer in there and then they literally it. take the entire podcast out so it's fine you know i, I just am a little I, I, I don't want no beverage holder i no need a pink cup. lemonade from taco Bell i want right a now. hello kitty <laughs> going what? right this on bitch. here Glue. <laughs> that's fine i have my shaws you i want hello yeah, kitty i that's want fine, hello yeah. kitty will i get sued Wow. No, what do you mean? Or maybe they bedazzle. should pay us something. Something you I could do want whatever. That's me. I think. I think episode two. I think we just claimed our spots, kind of like the second day of class. Yeah. You know, you walk in the first day of class, everyone kind of yeah. picks their seat. Second day, is I like, want to be on the outside. I wrestling. want a nameplate. Yeah, I want. Yeah. I want that, Mrs. Tiffany. So Can this is. Uh, I think. I think we got the the nice little seat position. Um, we're we're hitting an hour almost. Over an hour. We're we're a hundred percent hit rate on the hour. So. I think we'll we'll leave it here. I think we we. Well, I I do want to say just be patient with us, guys. Right. I know if you're listening and and watching us, um, this is our second episode. Give us time to really start shitting our lives, bro. Because it's gonna get crazy, but we don't want to open up. Yeah, we don't want to just be like, hey, how about wanna, you? What do you? We like don't want to open up like twenty four seven uh, right away. You, you got like to You know, we ain't easy over here. You know, <laughs> you gotta work for it. Like so. to go in the night <laughs> things. Like, we ain't getting shit unless Big we work brother? for it. <laughs> We'll it, we'll Which, okay, wait. I have actually a question for all of you. Before, yeah, yeah. let's say you guys were on the show, Big Brother. There's this thing called. Hoh, which is head of household. Like obviously, you pick who goes home, whatever. So you have an option. You go into your hoh room, and there's this thing called Pandora's box. So what happens is, is if you open it, you can get something really, really cool, like ten thousand dollars or a two trip to Hawaii, two person trip to Hawaii, or like you know, obviously something super cool. But then something bad happens to the rest of the house. Would you open Pandora's box? Am I? Am I? competing to win like if it's, this is a this is a i'm on the show you're on the show and there's only going to be one winner yes yeah hell yeah but also you don't know guaranteed that it's going to be something good but can it be can it be bad to me yes yeah that's the thing it's pandora's box so it's like you if you open it there's like a huge chance that you could get something really good but sometimes like it depends on the context it depends like you might yeah. get fucked so for example like it. You're gonna open Pandora's box. I'm doing it. I think it, I, it depends. That's I feel how like I, live I my would life, do it. Man. You have to watch the show to really know what. See what, first thing. If the opportunity is there, man, the yeah. next episode it, it might not be there, yeah. and you're gonna regret doing it. And that's with life, man. If if. A, what if, about you? I'm oh, sorry. It, 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 yeah, go ahead. I it really like I'm like an over analyst, so like I would have to backtrack that whole week before receiving that box if things were just handed to us or if we had shitty missions that we've been failing left and right like you know it really depends like if we've been killing but there's no we in that show they give you a clue yeah they'll be like oh would you like to have like for example there was a showman's right so let's pretend like 
me and you were dating on the okay. show. Okay. And then I get sent home. Okay. And then you become head of household. And okay. they're like, hey, Pandora's box, right? And then they're like, do you want to like spend time with someone who you love dear for 24 hours? And then they'll show a video and, of Tiffany. Yeah, and like they'll show a video of me and I'm like in this house and you're like, yeah, I want to be with my girl. You know what I mean? So you're like, I'm going to choose it. But then they end up fucking you and they ship you out to this house alone and you have a spa day. And then, well, that's, like that. that's what I kind of mean. Like if I, if there was a showman and I was with someone that I was dating and they took him home and they asked me if I wanted to see him right off the bat, I'd be like, set up. I don't trust it. Yeah, I ain't buying it. Like, it's right. really like, if no one's surprised and like, and, 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 and if there's like missions and shit that haven't been like, and everyone's fighting, I would do it. But if everything's great and everyone's friendly yeah. and everyone's having a great vibe, I'd be like, this is a setup. I ain't falling for it. Good to know. Good to know. That's just how I, I was just, um, how I wanted. What about you? Yeah, what about you, yo? Depends, because I'm a semi-fan of this show now, so it really depends. Like, it it depends on the situation. I have to see what I'm kind of signing up for. They do give you a clue, so it's not some random thing. So it's like, it really depends where I am in the game, who I have on my side, and stuff like that. All right, a simpler question. On the game shows where you, let's say you you who who wants to be a millionaire or or the the taxi uh what is that taxi the fake cab um you, <laughs> Wait, what is that show where they call the uh trivia cab the New York City cab the New York City cab where they get cab, in cash, cash cab? cab cash cab yeah, okay you win me. you win the whole thing right <laughs> you go all the way through and you win the top prize and mm-hmm. then the, and then the game host says you want to double your money no do you take that I take my money always. Okay, well, is Gamble. it is it who wants? No, it doesn't. No, no, no. It's you. No, want... I'm asking something. Hold on. Is it who wants to be a millionaire or is it cash cow? <clears throat> it's life. Look, you just won. You just won. <laughs> Whatever it is, you won, and then it's double or nothing. You you just spent the ah. whole time. You won the game. Do you take double or nothing? <laughs> I'm taking my little knapsack and I'm going home. I'm taking my bag. <laughs> Woo! I'm giving my baby. Ooh, Honestly, ooh. dude. If Mercury was retrograding, <laughs> no, I would not take it. If it wasn't, probably, I'd be like, fuck it. I, but you see, here's the thing. In my life, again, I would really be okay losing everything if I'm willing to double or nothing. And that's how I see it. Come on, that's such a waste. Bro, would you take it, Tiffany? No, I would take my money and go home. Not a double or safe keeper. She's yo, like, guess what? Yo, I got all it? the money. I got all here's the, the thing. Money. I, uh... I feel like I won the lottery when I was born because, like, I have parents that fucking love me and, you know, like, I was brought up well and, and not horrible Aww. shit. Shout out mom and dad. Facts, Shout facts. Out. Mama but here's the thing. And everything you. else in life, like, when it comes to games and betting and stuff like that, I don't do well. So if I win, I'm not going to do the double up. But if you won, you could do it again, no? You okay back there? Well, here's the thing. When I breathe in, (sighs) fogs up with the shades, but I'll live around. I'm like worried. We gotta get this guy. For for those who are listening on audio only, Yo's behind in a different room, behind the glass, behind the monitors, and he's wearing a ski mask. So I do. He's wearing a ski mask with a hoodie. I gotta switch it up because they get musty. Episode one, he was wearing a ski mask with a lion's head. I think it was a tiger's head. It was a lion's head. Oh, yeah, yeah, tiger's head. Tiger will come back soon. Um, All right, well, thank you guys for listening. Are we done here? Or listening we... and watching to our podcast. Omnia, 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 Omnia,